Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Caffrey, a senior scientist heading up the Invasive Species Unit of Inland Fisheries Ireland. Of the 13 priority or high impact invasive species that currently infest Irish watercourses, seven are aquatic or riparian species. Two of these high impact species, named uh, curly leaved waterweed, Lagrocycon major, and Nuttall's pondweed, or Elodia natalii. Uh, belong to the same family and this can cause problems with their identification because they share many features. A further complication to this is that there is another related species currently occupying our watercourses. This is a plant called Canadian pondweed or Elodia canadensis and like the other two it shares many physical characteristics. What I'd hope to do in this short clip is to afford you the capacity to readily identify these species either in the field or in the laboratory. Here we have the three species, species I spoke of. We have here Lagrosiphon major, Elodia natalii and Elodia canadensis. Interesting to note that while they are all very similar, this species here was invasive in Ireland maybe 200 years ago but currently we don't regard it as an invasive species in that it doesn't threaten ecosystems. Uh, and it's actually categorized now as a naturalized non-native species. Lagrosiphon has a very characteristic arrangement, particularly uh, towards the tip. You will notice here that each of the apices or tips of the stems, the leaves are very tightly clustered. This is very characteristic of the species. Looking at the closely related Elodia species, you'll notice with Elodia natalii, the other invasive species, that there is not that distinct clustering, nor with the naturalized species do you have that clustering. But one of the simplest ways to distinguish Lagrosiphon from the two Elodia species is by virtue of the leaf arrangement. And if you look along the stem, particularly back from the tip, you'll notice that the leaves are very strongly recurved back. All of the leaves are recurved back towards the stem, but crucially, they have a spiral arrangement. So the leaves are arranged spirally up the stem. This is very different to the two Elodia species. Moving on to the two Elodia species, these can be much more difficult to distinguish. They have features in common that distinguishes them from Lagrosiphon. And you will notice with the two Elodia species that the leaves are arranged in a whorl, almost always of three leaves. A whorl means that they cluster at the same point on the stem. Here you see the leaves clustering in Natalii. And if we move to any area on La La um, sorry, Elodia canadensis, you will likewise see the whorl or the cluster at the one node. So that's the similarity. What are the differences? The differences mainly uh, relate to leaf shape. And what I've done is I've taken some, I've taken a leaf from each of the Elodia species and put them under the microscope. And I'll show you now in detail how you can separate these two species. Here we have one leaf from each of Elodia canadensis, which are, is our naturalized species, and Elodia natalii, which is our invasive species. You'll see immediately that these are quite different. The main differences are Elodia is distinctly tongue-shaped, and that goes for leaves from the top, more or less to the bottom of the stem. With Elodia canadensis, the leaf is broadest around mid-stem, whereas with Natalii, it's broadest at the base. Elodia natalii characteristically tapers reasonably quickly to a fine point, whereas the tapering is much less abrupt with canadensis, and we don't have a, point, a tip, we have a blunt tip rather than a sharp tip. Both plants are minutely toothed along the edge, and how you know that is by running your finger along, and you will feel a minor ser uh, serration. Another distinguishing feature uh, between these plants uh, relates to the, the stem and this is something that you mightn't find in the books but the stem in Lagrosiphon um, the stem is hollow and 
when under the influence of wave action or wind action, the stem actually readily snaps. That doesn't occur with either of the other two species. Should you encounter either of these two invasive species, that is Legrocyphon major or Elodia natalii, while you're out fishing, boating or walking, we'd be very much obliged if you would report the sighting to info at fisheriesireland.ie or we also have a 24 hour emergency number and that number is 1890 fish 24 that's 1890 34 24 thank you